car, you know what I'm saying? And she know who he is because she seen the movie. She, you know what I mean? Like, just like me, she know who he is. Man, when I tell you, she went the fuck off on me in front of this nigga in the car. Like, oh, my God. Like, you know, like, you know, girls, like, you like, you know, you know how girls are. Like, that shit was fucking funny. Like, thinking back today, it was funny. But, like, back then, you know what I mean? It was like... Yo, yo, what's good, people? It's your boy, Dr. Nine, you know what I'm saying? Appreciate you tuning in to my, you know what I mean? YouTube channel, you dig what I'm saying? Make sure you hit the like, subscribe button, you feel me? I'm trying to get our followers up. Um, I got a new album coming out pretty soon. We working on a date right now, you know what I'm saying? We just got merch done and shit. Pass me the ox, that's what it's called, you know what I'm saying? You know what I mean? If you like it, hit me in the, in, the, in the comment section, you know what I mean? We might be able to make something happen, get you some early exclusive merch, you know what I'm saying? We got the hats too, Dr. Nine, you feel me? Uh, <clears throat> but yeah, pretty much what I'm what I'm here to do today, you know what I'm saying, is uh, 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 with the you know release of the album, we trying to ramp up the content, you know what I mean, and, and find different ways to you know uh, uh, be with you guys versus just like showing you music, or just showing you music videos and shit. So what I'm gonna do is I, I was on the Twitter the other day and I seen this dude posted this video. He worked for TDE. I'm not sure who the fella is or nothing like that, but uh, he worked for TDE and and he uh. He did like a story time and he told pretty much an embarrassing story about when his car declined at Roscoe's Chicken and Waffles and Chief Keith was like right there to experience it all. And it was an embarrassing moment and he told the story and it was like really, it was funny to me because I'm like, damn, you know, you know, aside from just embarrassing stories, I, I, I got stories for days, you know what I mean? Stories for motherfucking days, like, so... <clears throat> You know, I feel like it's a great way to, you know, connect with you guys and y'all get to learn a little bit more about me and, you know what I mean, get the, get the uh, person behind the name and behind the music, you feel me? So, without further ado, you know what I mean, this is Dr. Nine and, and this is my story time, you feel me? So, so, before I do this, I gotta give you a little bit of background on me. I gotta set the story up a little bit, so, you know what I mean? For me personally, I'm from Texas. I reside in Austin, Texas. I was born in San Antonio. I grew up in Austin, you know what I'm saying? Like, you know, ele ele like in the elementary, middle school, high school, all Austin, you know what I'm saying? And then, uh, I, I moved to uh, Los Angeles at like 19, and I'll tell you how that happened too. So, you know, from early on, you know, um, I've been producing and writing songs and rapping and all that since like, 13 years old, pretty much, you know what I'm saying, my uncle <clears throat> in San Antonio, uh, during the, like, Swisher House, Millionaire Days type shit, um, he, w he, he was big down there, and, and he, he had his, uh, you know, like, his group, of, his clique, you know what I'm saying, and they was killing shit down there, and, and, and I had access to a studio that early, and I seen it that early, so, you know, you know, him being my uncle, you know, positive male role model type vibe, you feel me, I'm like, I want to do that shit too, so, uh, that's what I started doing, I, uh, you know, I mean, I got into it really quick, um, my dad is also, you know, he's from Detroit, um, he's a bass player, you know what I'm saying, in a group back in the day, you know what I'm saying, so, he, he grew up with music, you know what I'm saying, all around him, so, he, you know, of course, it was second nature for him to just support me in doing that, so, I had my own little studio equipment and shit at 14, 15 years old, you know what I mean? So, I've been doing it for a while. Um, in high school, I also did extracurricular shit, like, you know, like, uh, I played basketball, I was basically, you know what I'm saying, doing all the uh, acting and shit, so I played and shit, and uh, that turned into me, like, performing, you know, songs at like halftime, or not halftime, but like pep rallies and they play my shit on announcements and passing period, all that shit, they play my shit. 
And, uh, you know, I became known, you know, in my area for, you know, music. That's what I was known for. So, um, pretty much, with that being said, um, I got this opportunity to do some acting uh, as an extra on the show called Friday Night Lights. It was a, a season where it was like Michael B. Jordan and Jeremy Smollett and all these other people, and I got to do that. And, you know, you just rub shoulders with certain people, you know what I'm saying? And um, I got the opportunity to sign to an acting agency in Los Angeles and, and move out there at an early age, you know what I'm saying? And I moved out there with a friend of mine, like, that was like, you know what I'm saying? She did music too, and she, you know, she had probably been there and, and knew people, you know, in the scene and all of that stuff already. So we moved together. You know, thinking, you know, two brains better than one, we're we gonna do it ourselves. So, uh, pretty much, you know, within days of getting to Los Angeles, um, I was at, I was introduced and, and, and was around a woman named Stacey Barth, you know, amazing, ten talented artist, songwriter, producer, you know what I'm saying? And uh, if you ever heard of Nipsey Hussle's new album, The Victory, Victory Lap, she's on the the intro of the album, you know what I'm saying, the title track, and uh, pretty much I was around her, she introduced me to a lot of amazing people, you know what I'm saying, I'm talking about like, at the record plant, took me into Pharrell's studio session, and like, introduced me to him, like, you know what I'm saying, like, yo, you need to, you know, meet this kid, this kid is dope, you know what I'm saying, so, she, you know, I was always going to the studio with her, writing with her, you know what I'm saying, doing little shit like that, and you know, all kind of people would come to the studio, you know what I'm saying? So, um, on one occasion, it was my man Al B from ATL. Uh, he was Brooklyn and ATL, the one that's like, shouty, shouty, I'm taller than you. Like, why y'all say shouty? That dude, so, you know, he came to the studio and we hit it off, like, we hit it off, you know what I'm saying? So, pretty much exchanged information and shit, and he was like, you know, just hit me when you in my area, you feel me? I'm in Burbank or whatever, he's like, hit me when you in my area. Coincidentally, you know what I'm saying, my girl at the time, you know, a singer as well, you know, she the person who introduced me to Stacey. Um, she she had an audition to be <clears throat> one of Lady Gaga's backup singers for her upcoming tour or whatever. So, um, there's a lot of studios in the Valley and, 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 and they were doing the rehearsals and, and the, uh, the, the the process, like the auditions or whatever in Burbank where, where Al B was at. So I hit him like, yo, bro, I'm gonna be in the area for a little bit. You know what I'm saying? Like, um, that's when he go, whatever. He was like, bet, bet. So I go to his spot, you know what I'm saying? We chilling. Well, before going to his spot, I drop her off at the place, you know what I'm saying? And this was in like the first month of me being in LA, you know what I'm saying? Or second month of me being in LA. So I'm not too familiar. I'm still going by GPS, all of that, you know what I'm saying? So it's my first time in Burbank. So I go with my man Al B, you know what I'm saying? We 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 chilling at his spot, you know what I mean? It was about, I'd say five minutes away from the audition spot where uh where my girl was auditioning at, whatever. So I'm just waiting for her to call me and then I'm just gonna come swoop her up and then we gonna go back to the crib. So um I'm chilling with Al B, we chilling, smoking, you know, having a good time, you know what I mean? It, it was surreal for me, you know what I mean? Like ATL, one of my favorite movies, you know what I'm saying? I grew up on that shit, you know, went went with the high school sweetheart to the to the movie theater to see the shit, you know what I mean? So it was like surreal for me to be just kicking it with this nigga, like smoking trees and, and eating and shit, you know what I mean? Like, like that's what we was doing. So, um, you know, I, auditions tend to take from like, I would say anywhere from 30 minutes to an hour, you know what I'm saying? Or, or you know, if, if you... If you are excelling in the process, you know what I'm saying, it, it tends to go longer. So, you know, it had been at least an hour and a half, you know what I'm saying, and, and the process was going. And, uh, you know, my girlfriend finally called me like, oh, okay, you can come get me whatever. So, when I told y'all, like, the the audition place from where Al B was at was like five minutes. It was really like ten minutes, you know what I'm saying, just because, you know, lights, traffic, you know, a little shit like that, you know what I mean? And for me, I was fucking late, you know what I'm saying? Like, I was late, like, I, I got lost, like, so so 10 minutes, right, if it's 10 minutes away, and then I get lost, because I'm just not familiar with the area. Matter of fact, I'm leaving a part out, hold on. So, 
she called me and told me she done, and I said, I'd be all right, bro. I'm like, I'm finna bounce out, you know what I'm saying? I'm, uh, I'm gonna go get my girl. We just gonna go back to the crib, probably whatever, and shit, whatever. He was like, well, shit, uh, shit, I'll roll with you over there. Like, you know what I mean? I'll roll with you. I ain't doing shit. Like, I'll roll with you. I'm like, all right, cool. I ain't think nothing of it. You know what I'm saying? I'm like, come on, come on, let's go. So I'm on my way back, and I can't find the spot. Like, I don't know what it is. Like, I can't find it. I get lost, so... It it, it, it wound up being like 20 minutes or like 30 minutes after she called me, you feel me, to come pick her up when I told her I was only five minutes away because that's, that's really what I thought, you know what I'm saying? So I get there, she see Al be in the car, you know what I'm saying? And she know who he is because she seen the movie, she, you know what I mean? Like, just like me, she know who he is. Man, when I tell you, she went the fuck off on me in front of this nigga in the car, like... Oh my God, like, you know, like, you know, girls, like, you like, you know, you know how girls are, like, that shit was fucking funny, like, thinking back today, it was funny, but, like, back then, you know what I mean, it was, like, embarrassing as fuck, you know what I'm saying, because here you are, like, with your homie, you know what I'm saying, and it's, I think it's, it's embarrassing with y'all, even with your own homies, like, just your regular homies. To like for your girl to be, you know, going off on your ass in, 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 in front of these people, you know what I'm saying? But to be around, you know, a celebrity, quote unquote, or whatever, you know what I'm saying? And y'all hanging out on some casual shit and this shit happen, that shit is embarrassing, you know what I'm saying? So, of course, my nigga was laughing at me, like, you know what I'm saying? Even after that, he was like, yo, man, you know what I mean? You coming through? He's like, yo, man, but like, you know, your girl, bro, you know, I just ain't got the energy type shit. It was funny, like, it was hilarious, like, the nigga would clown me for the shit after the fact. Matter of fact, you know, shout out to Al B, you know what I'm saying, that's the homie. But I had to share that story with y'all, you know what I mean? Um, like I said, you know what I mean? Be looking out for more stories, you feel me? Like, be looking out for more stories, like, because I'm coming with him, you feel me? Pass me the ox, coming soon, you feel me? Um... Just hit me, hit me in, the, hit me in the comments if you like want a shirt, if you want a hat. You know what I'm saying? I got them for the low. I'm giving them for the low, especially before I drop it on the merch site or whatever. So uh, I appreciate y'all rocking with me. You know what I mean? Subscribe, uh, like this video, please. You know what I'm saying? Comment on it, share it with your friends if you thought it's funny, if you liked it. You know what I'm saying? And, and be on the lookout for some more. And then it's Dr. Nell. I'm signing out. You feel me? Peace.